Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you yet again today and I'm taking this opportunity to um, get back to you guys uh, while Pootie is asleep and before I have to cook. So, um, what I wanted to do was, because I get a lot of messages and I've been lately getting a lot of messages from people that have never couponed, what I wanted to do was take a time out and an opportunity to give you some more tips now. This video will incorporate a whole bunch of tips all at once. Now, what I ask you to do is if you're beginning on couponing and you're starting um, and you don't know where to start, I have a beginner's video and that video is titled, So You Want to Learn This Couponing Thing. Go to that video and view that. That's the first thing. After that, what I want you to do is watch every tip video I have or every haul video I have. Now this is going to take some time because I do have a lot of videos um, and I do have a lot of videos specifically with tips and I have a lot um, specifically about hauls. But what I do is I ask you to watch these videos because in the midst of revealing my hauls and things like that, I'm not one of those couponers that just want to show you what they got or show off to you. Um, what I do is I break it down to you how I got it and I also include tips in my videos. Um, even for my hauls. So while you have time, maybe this weekend or next weekend, and just a little bit daily, make sure you watch all of those videos because those are going to have some great and helpful tips. Right now you're in the sponge state, uh, stage, and that's what I call it. I call it that because what you need to do is basically be like a sponge and soak it all up. And I'm not one of those that tell you to just watch my videos. I tell you actually to watch so many people videos on here in fact as many as you can about couponing tips about uh, couponing lessons couponing 101 um, there are a lot of great ladies out there that's doing this and doing it nicely and doing it big I actually recommend that you watch them as well the reason why is because it's not about being loyal to one person it's about you growing it's about you um, perfecting the craft of couponing and the art of couponing is about you being able to comprehend all that it entails it's about you getting the best deals for your family in whatever quantities that is so um, I'm not going to tell you just to watch my video that would be crazy and that would be limiting and stunning your growth um, what I do actually recommend is you start maybe with my video or others and then anything that you can see that's going to teach you, go to it. Learn. Soak it up. The great thing about my channel um, is that we all network. We all gather our thoughts. That's why I tell all couponers and all people that are in the sponge stage to read all the comments to my videos. The reason why is because this uh, forum for us is for all of us to network and it's almost like we're sitting in a cafe and you know sipping on some coffee or some tea and we all just homegirls sitting together you know talking and trying to learn and and you know sharing and that's what we do and that's why you need to read the comments because if I miss something my girl's gonna tell you trust me my girl's gonna put it on there guess what Kiana we also seen this deal or we also seen this printable coupon so this is that's the great thing and that's the beauty about what we're trying to accomplish here and the beauty about what we do now with all of that being said and four minutes into the video I'm going to give you some tips they're going to be all over the place they're going to be sporadic but the point is you are going to be able to soak up a lot of information just in this video alone rain checks rain checks are not just for old people anymore get your rain checks now, when I first started couponing way back four months ago, <laughs> I used to think that, you know, it was kind of unnecessary to get rain checks. But what I've actually found is that you actually can, A, save a headache because you don't have to run around and get all of the items that are missing on the shelves while it's extreme discounted. You don't have to run around and do that. Once you see it one time now, not on the shelf like those optimum perms the dark and lovely perms you guys at Walgreens right now don't sweat it what you do is go in the store see they don't have it go to the register ask for them to give you a rain checks which is the maximum amount I think the maximum for Walgreens is six on each item get all of your rain checks 
if they don't have it when it's on sale, hey, next week when it's not on sale and they're going to have an abundance of them, then yeah, go get it then. Now, as far as the perms, you guys, or the relaxers, they're on sale all month. But it's still great to make sure that you get those rain checks. And every time or any time that you need them, get them, okay? Um, and make sure that you get the, the maximum amount. What I recommend to you guys to do is to make sure when you go into these stores and get these rain checks that they put on the rain check the bonuses or whatever that you're going to get and initial it. Now, they may think it's unnecessary to do this or ask for this, but this is just to cover your behind so that when you go into the store trying to buy these items, you won't have to worry about not getting your register rewards, your up plus rewards, or your bonus bucks, okay? So, make sure if it's BOGO and it's on sale and it's sold out, make sure they put BOGO on that on that rain check. If you're getting back $10 in easy bucks, if you spend a certain amount, make sure they put that on that rain check. Okay? And that's what I'm recommending to you guys. Rain checks, rain checks, rain checks are no longer for old people. Tap into that resource. That's yet another resource that we can use. It's legitimate and it's there for a reason use it next do not go to stores and get angry because they don't have certain things on, on the on shelf all you got to do and it's simple pick up your cell phone and call them that's it google it find out the phone number dial the number and call call at Walgreens when they answer the phone just simply say I was calling to see if you could transfer me to the beauty counter they're going to transfer you to the beauty counter and simply ask them, I wanted to know if you had any optimum care oil therapies in stock right now. They're going to go run over to there and see. And if they don't, they're going to tell you right there on the phone, no, we don't. Your next question should be, well, let me ask you, when do y'all get y'all new shipments usually? You're going to tackle two things in one call. And it's going to save you a trip or two or three. Every time when you know that it's going to be more than likely sold out, make one call and you avoid all of that headache, you avoid wasting gas, and you avoid yourself from catching a charge. Okay? The great thing about that is, or calling, is because in that call or in that conversation, you've already found out some vital information. First of all, they don't have them in stock. That's a plus. You don't have to go. Second of all, the second piece of vital information you need to also remember and store it into your mental database is when they get their shipment. This is great because you will have first dibs on knowing when they get shipment. So, you have tackled, like I said, two great things in one call or one conversation. Make sure you utilize that. The next thing I wanted to discuss with you is when you have extremely large orders and just because I don't tell everything or just because I don't address everything, I do this a lot. When you have extremely large orders, it simply, to, it simply is just basically going to the store that you normally go to and just asking for a special order or asking for an order to be placed. If I plan on going into a store and buying 50 relaxers. And I know I'm buying 50 relaxers because I go to the same store and they know me by name and I know them by name. What I do is I place a special order. But that is what they what they do is they actually ship that order with their normal order. So I'm still utilizing and getting my 50 relaxers or perms and they're also still having their regular normal order of however amount of relaxers and perms that they were going to put on the shelf. So therefore, when I'm buying in abundance like that, I'm not taking from others for the opportunity of getting it. Okay? So this is for you extreme couponers or you couponers that want to take it to another level or you couponers that want to maybe uh, start donating. As for me, for instance, um, this week I probably will be buying about 50 perms. So I will, my store, I know for a fact gets their shipments on Wednesdays. So what I'll do is tomorrow after they get their shipment of perms, I will place an order and my order will be in there next week when they get their large shipment every Wednesday. Okay, so I will be donating them. So I wanted to donate um, 
are probably about 50 more. So, yeah, that's how I'm going to do it, and I'm going to do it in special order. And I recommend that to you guys. Next. Okay, man, please don't put your behind in my face. Okay, next. Um, next thing is uh, filler items. Make sure the items that you get that's a filler item, um, make sure that you are wise by choosing things, A, first of all, that you may need already, or B, extremely cheap items. Because it gets to a point where if you're using a filler item just to actually just be a filler item, not specifically something that you need, but just to be able to use multiple coupons, and you just need to be able to match that amount of coupons to the amount of items that you have, that's considered what you need to do is a filler item because those numbers need, need to match okay now I, I I elaborate on the video that's titled um, information or whatever on a filler item so if you don't understand and don't understand what that means then by all means go to that video and that will break it down to you exactly why you need a filler and the actual term filler and def define it for you and give you examples of how to use it now you're not using a filler properly if it's just because you want to need or you need a filler if you're spending the same amount that you're saving it doesn't make sense at that point so you're not maximizing your savings if you're trying to get a filler item and your value of savings is two dollars don't go buy a filler item that's 190 well don't go buy a filler item that's 99 cents why that's cutting your savings in half go buy a filler item that's maybe 10 cents you can get a pencil, eight for a dollar at Walgreens. Get one pencil. So are you are you following what I'm saying? So make sure that your filler items are not equaling the savings that you that you um that you're trying to accomplish. So that's a great tip. I want you to basically um, be wiser with your filler items and be more mindful with your filler items. Um, and I know it's a lot to take in and there's a lot of lingo to take in and terminology but these are things that you're going to have to learn in order to understand what what videos are being what's being said in videos and things like that um, let's see there's so many tips I'm trying to gather them all I probably do two videos on this um, another tip would be um, Mm. I just had a brain fart. <laughs> Plan your meals around your couponing. If they have smoked sausage on sale, guess what we're going to be having for dinner for the next about week or two. We're going to have something that's going to incorporate that smoked sausage. I'm going to fix some cabbage with some smoked sausage and some onion down in it. I'm going to fix me some fresh greens and I'm going to put some smoked sausage down in it. We're going to have some macaroni and cheese, and I'm going to cut up some smoked sausages in it, and that's a whole meal. We're going to have some spaghetti, and I'm going to cut some smoked sausages and green peppers and onion down in that. Yeah. You're going to find a way to incorporate that smoked sausage. And if you do that, you save a lot of money because you're no longer planning your your uh, taste around or your desires around your meal, but you're rather, you're rather um, taking your couponing or your savings and you're planning your meals around that so I hope that you understand what I understood what I'm saying I'm kind of sleepy right now if you can tell but I hope you understand what I'm saying um, this is going to maximize your savings you guys I mean literally doing things this way will take literally half off of your budget right there and off your monthly budget on food so I'm just telling you I have a, a lot of recipes if you go back um, most of my, uh, no, all of my recipes are for four to six people, um, $10 and under. You can feed your entire family. And if you go back, you will see all of my recipes. You already know I have a cookbook coming out. So all of my recipes are going to be $10 and under as usual, feeding an army of people. So tap into all resources, soak it all up, and look at all the videos um, concerning lessons on couponing and all that. Um, there will be many more. Um, I will title them as such, and I hope this helps you in some way, shape, or form. I send it as I send everything else out to you guys. I send it with love. Be blessed.